Hey, I'm Nick from Oso Sick Media, and today we're doing another modification to our 2018 Honda Civic Type R, also known as the FK8. Got the new set of Eibach springs for the Civic Type R FK8. Start off with the front left. Now that I got the wheel out of the way, it gives us access to the suspension so we can start taking it apart. But before we actually really get started, we have to remember this is a Type R. We need to cover it. So I got my master tech garage technician to go ahead and put these fender covers on. Now we're ready. <laughs> to start off, we're gonna take off the brake line and speed sensor bolt. And then once that one's out of the way, we're gonna move on to the other one, which is right there. Now that we got the bolt that holds the bracket for the ABS sensor, it's time to disconnect the sensor itself. Dampening sensor. So next up, we're gonna take off the airbender cover. Uh, this is used for magically transferring the air from through the lip to the brakes to keep it cool. Um, it's a very hard trait. Um, air bending is not easy. As you can see, there's three fins. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, um, you're gonna repeat the same thing on the last air bender on the passenger side of the vehicle. Next up, we're gonna take off the sway bar link with the 14. Now that the top of the sway bar link is disconnected and removed, we're gonna remove the lower tie rod and the G-spot sensor bracket. Next up, we're just taking off the calipers. One thing I do love about the Type R is that it comes like this from the factory, so never go wrong with safety. All right, now we're gonna remove the two bolts that hold the spindle and the strut. All right, go ahead. All right, as per instructions, we gotta cut the bump stop. And what you wanna do is really just ease into it. For those of you who do not completely understand why you have to cut this and why Eibach recommends it, well, to be honest, I really don't know why they recommend it. So we just got done installing the iBox suspension on the Civic Type R. Cosmetically, you can definitely tell that it's lower, so it does give it a more aggressive look. As for the feel, honestly, I'm driving it around the city, so I'm really not gonna see the full potential of it. But the great thing about these springs is it does not affect the adjustable dampening. So comfort, sport, and the famous Type R mode still work like OE. Um, I've been fortunate enough to go to the track and do a comparison from stock suspension to the iBox suspension that we have on this car. And honestly, it does make a huge difference at the track. The body roll alone is the first thing that I noticed. 